What you are about to see is my personal opinion in the video. If you don't know what an NFT is, it's a non-fungible token, which is a non-interchangeable unit of data stored on a blockchain, a form of digital ledger. Types of NFT data units may have been associated with digital files such as videos, photos, and audio. Because each token is uniquely identifiable, NFTs differ from blockchain cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. Everything I will say in this video is my basic understanding of the situation so far. Hello. Yes, this is Oliver, and I have something very important I must tell you. Apparently, the CEO of YouTube has decided to get in on to the business of crypto, more specifically NFTs. This is a bad thing. It's literally a bad thing. Apparently, I just saw some post. I saw some post related to you. It came from YouTube's new policy, and it reveals. Uh, I, I just can't believe it's. Uh, look, the reason I decided to go onto YouTube was to start my own animation career. And I was hoping to form a small business of my own and build bigger, better projects in the future. But along with the removal of the dislike button and now this, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do exactly. Here's what the message said. We're also further ahead to the future and have been following everything happening in Web3 as a source of inspiration to continue innovating on YouTube. The past year in a world of crypto, non-fungible tokens, NFTs, and even decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs, has highlighted a previously unimaginable opportunity to grow a connection between creators and their fans. We're always focused to expanding the YouTube ecosystem to help creators capitalize on emerging technologies, including things like NFTs, while continuing to strengthen and enhance the experiences creators and their fans have on YouTube. Okay. First off, why would you do this? And second, your NFTs are not made with creativity in mind. It's just made by scam artists just to make money. Easy money. Oh, for the same print like there's dumb monkeys and lions. The same, same, same model. This shall not stand. If you think there's nothing wrong with buying them, there certainly is. Because if you buy an NFT, you don't get the picture. All you get is the receipt. And the process of producing said receipt uses enough electricity to power a house for a week. And that is bad for the environment. It doesn't help that many people and companies are hopping onto the bandwagon of harmful crypto. So, in short, if you care for the environment and creativity as a whole, I must advise you and other viewers to avoid the NFT business and go against it. If any of you still think they're worth anything, you're wrong. Even if you got a useless receipt after 10 years ago, you are wrong for wasting your money on something the crypto scammers got away with. Well... I've ranted enough. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.
If you want to know why NFTs are bad for the environment, I'd strongly suggest reading an article from the eco experts. The link is in the description.